and right in let's let's do this right in furious this I, this is one this is a headline from the daily mail it was from yesterday but it's relevant for what we are going to talk about today furious Prince Harry snubbed dinner with King Charles and William at Balmoral after bust up when monarch banned Meghan from joining grieving royal family at Scottish estate the day the Queen died, causing the Duke to miss his flight. Okay, this is this is uh, well, th this is messed up enough. Okay, but what I want to show you. Is, uh, well, let, let's let's uh, let's uh, keep reviewing this. Prince Harry refused to have dinner with his father Charles. It is claimed he was furious after his wife Meghan was banned from coming to Balmoral by the new king. This is important. I'm gonna gonna be um, uh, maybe I will be reviewing this later. But I want to just to make a point. The Duke of Sussex reportedly wanted his wife to join him as royals raced to the Scottish estate to say their final goodbyes to their beloved mother and grandmother on September 8. However, Britain's new king phoned his youngest son and told him it was not appropriate. Hey, do, do, do not come with uh, the, the, the wife, please, d don't. For the former Suits actress to be there, according to reports. It is claimed that it ensuing row during which Harry fought to persuade his father to allow Meghan to come with him, he missed a flight carrying William and their uncles Andrew and Edward to Scotland, and with it, the chance to bid farewell. So this, this is complicated enough, but it gets even worse. I'm going to jump uh, to, to this uh, slide. It gets even worse when you realize the actual timeline and what happened uh, at that moment. It, it gets way, way worse. And you will understand why I decided to change the name of this live. Thanks to Elena G. Losu, uh, Iosub on Twitter, who tweeted, this timeline explained by Hilly Beans on Reddit. Thanks, Hilly Beans, for uh, compiling this. I have copied the timeline I made for this shit show a few days ago. Enjoy. First, Harry and Meghan going to Balmoral. This was not long after the family was told death was imminent. There were a lot of posts here about everyone saying a collective WTF during this time. So uh, uh, everyone, everyone was scrambling. Everyone was scrambling at that moment. There was no time. You have to come here. Remember that they were, uh, I guess they were in London. They had to fly to Scotland and then they had to go uh, from the airport. It was like a one hour drive. Second, Charles saying no. This was before the Royal Air Force RAF flight. Obviously, something took place if there is record of Charles putting his foot down, and it was all due to Meghan's insistence at inserting herself. Okay, when Catherine wasn't even going. But fuck everyone else. This is the Meghan show. Yeah, but, but I, I think uh, her upcoming her upcoming uh, reality show should have started like that. Like Meghan just screaming that last line from the top of her lungs. But that would be nice. I would watch that. Grounded Raf Fly. This one says it was a mystery. Then in the same breath says constitutional crisis if Harry and William perish on the same plane. Never mind George, Charlotte and Louis, the next three in line are home with Catherine. Jet was scheduled to leave at 1.30 p.m. but does not taxi until 2.39 p.m. Like more than one hour later. Thanks to Harry and Meghan causing a scene. So basically, Harry and Meghan delayed the plane uh, that carried uh, William, Andrew, and Edward, and it was for Harry too, to reach the Queen on time. The rough flight lands at 30, uh, 3 
50 in Aberdeen. They have an hour drive from there to Balmoral. I'm sure some speed limit signs were ignored, so they might have been under an hour. Now, the Queen is said to have died shortly before they, William and company, arrived by car. We do not have an exact time of death yet. I know that Lady Colin Campbell uh, called uh, an hour, but you know that that's not official. Official announcement was at 6.30 p.m. Media says time between announcement and death was a window of give or take two hours. It stands to reason Meghan got more than she bargained for because Harry had to secure a different flight. Harry didn't learn about her death until five minutes before the official announcement, right after he landed, which he is now salty about. Well, uh, you, you, you tell me if they wouldn't be mad about this. This, this, this is uh, just despicable. Thanks for being 5,000 battle language buddies right now. Thanks for being here. Andrew. Edward and Sophie were on that rough flight with William. You can now understand why Sophie looked like she wanted to toss her in the Thames every time she was near, near her. Also, this shit was going down when the Queen was actively dying, so Charles lost time at his mother's side dealing with Harry and Meghan's tantrum. Okay, I, I want to I want to just to to put this into perspective. Like this was all happening. They knew what was happening. It was not a, a, a simulation. This was not a drill. This was the real deal. This was uh, the the, uh, the uh, what they knew was going to happen at any minute. Harry and Meghan were actually in the UK, and they did this. They couldn't even like put their ego or, or their, I don't know, insanity to one side and come to their senses and say, well, whatever you say, Catherine, is, uh, uh, Catherine even is, is not even going well for reasons for uh, she had to take care of the kids where you coming out of school it will be so hard for them to understand what was happening if she was not there. But Megan, why? Why is why did she want to why, why did she want to be there? She wanted to be the protagonist. She she wanted to board that flight to see the queen and delayed actually delayed. I, I, my 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 I, it's, it's something that I try to find the words that this woman made that those precious hours about herself. And if this is true then William, uh, Andrew, and Edward could not see the Queen before she died. So this is, this is, well, it, fucked up. As I put in the thumbnail, this is fucked up. This is, there's no other way to put this. This, this is, so, I, I, disgusting. Um, yeah, it, it's so selfish. Yeah, thanks, Luana. It's selfish. It's nothing not, I have no words I, I read this that's why I changed the, the video topic because I had to talk about this I'm going to backtrack a bit to that uh, to that um, to that article from the Daily Mail so you can have this in into perspective have some perspective about this uh, the Duke of Sussex missed his flight to Aberdeen during the ensuing row and he arrived after other royals Okay, he was the first member of the royal family to leave Balmoral the next day, catching an early morning flight. But what's more, the Duke of Sussex, uh, okay, wanted to, uh, he claimed, this is, this is what I wanted to, to read. The prince, who plunged the monarchy into crisis after he and the duchess, blah, 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 was so angry that his wife had been banned listen to this, was so angry the day the queen died that his wife had been banned and that he had missed his first flight, that he refused to have dinner that evening with Charles, William, and Queen Camilla. How 
deranged can you be? How insane, how out of your mind can you, can, can, can you be that you're with your family at Balmoral and you're just angry because they just deny for obvious reasons that your wife be there after you know everything that she says. If, if she said even one week before that saying that she still had, you know, the receipts and she will be uh, s s just shooting them in the following our swipes episodes. What do you expect? And Harry is angry. And Harry is angry. I think I think the royal family is, is has been too patient with with him. I, I don't know. It, it's 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 it deserves to receive not one but quite a few punches in the face, in the throat. It it it, it it's it, it's this is despicable. Instead, he ate with the Duke of York and the Earl and Countess of Wessex. You can imagine Sophie uh, eating with Harry before leaving early the next morning. The Sun reports. Well, this is what I wanted to tell you. This is this is a X-ray into what the Harkles have become. It's Harry is actively actively being uh, Megan's handbag like he can't think for himself he doesn't have the balls to say hey, you know what I'm leaving my father says that you can come and Catherine isn't coming either so we'll, we'll sort this up sort this out later no he had to you know, de negotiate he had to negotiate that Megan could come, uh, he, he threw a tantrum, his grandmother, that Harry claims uh, he loved so much that he never blindsided her, she was dying and he began bargaining, negotiating, uh, complaining that Megan wasn't coming with him. What a sad shadow of a man. This is, uh, this is uh, disturbing. 